Bieber stopped by the Call Her Daddy podcast where she revealed with Justin she likes to do it doggy style. Oh, that's what we're going? <laughs> Wait, I really like doggy style. Okay, yeah, let's talk about this whole Call Her Daddy situation. First of all, I love the name of that podcast. I like the name. I don't, I don't know if I love the podcast that much. No? You think no. she goes in too deep? <laughs> I mean, I mean, with the questioning. I really like doggy style. Well, uh, no, I, I, I don't. I think it's one, I think it's a difference between like a good comedian and people who say things for impact. Mm. You can ask the tough questions if you are coming from the right place with it. But if you're just doing it for clickbait and whatever, I don't respect it. I, I that's the just me. That's my opinion. Is... Call her daddy. Yeah. I, I feel like we know basically what we're gonna get. She's always been fame adjacent. Uh, you know, her dad's famous, her uncle's famous. She's used to people coming up to you at the dinner table when you're eating and saying, hey, dad, hello. hey, uncle, Hi. can I get a picture? She's, she's grown up with that. So when that happens in real time with her and Justin, it, it's second nature to her. What do you think Justin thinks? Do you think Justin is happy that she went on there? I really like doggy style. They look like they have a very mature relationship. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like he trusts Haley. He trusts Haley to, you know, to, to speak her truth. Yeah. But at the same time, be protected of the relationship. My daughter was a Justin Bieber fan from the first time around, right. right? So for me to think about Justin in a in a that type of manner is hard because I always feel like he's hard. He, <laughs> no, he's like he's like he's my daughter's crush, right? Oh, okay, so okay. I, I so I can separate it that way. But he's also but, but he's a grown we, man now. We know grown women that he's, we work with that love Justin Bieber too. Oh yes, of course. I keep Are, aren't you happy though? At least he's, he's representing. I. <laughs> He's clearly doing his thing he's because he's talking about it thing. on the podcast. He's clearly doing that, his thing. I mean, I don't, but I don't think there was ever him. any doubt if Justin was doing his thing or not. As J. Cole and Miguel once said, let me hit it in the morning. Charlie D'Amelio and her mom, Heidi, are competing on Dancing with the Stars at the same time. I mean, a mother-daughter relationship is always like fraught with a little bit of controversy, I yes, think. Yes, of course, yeah. If you can get your 18-year-old to do anything with you, it's a win. She was doing TikToks while her mom was dancing. That's like, a teenager being a teenager. When you're filming Etalk, I'm doing TikToks. Are you really? I love you, though. I thought you so were I don't watching me in awe. I do that as well. Okay, all right. So, so long as there's a good balance. <laughs> Charlie, all you gotta do is show your mom some love. You know, be a fan as well, because moms want that validation from their, their daughters. And right? it's hard to get it. So here's the thing about the story that was confusing me. Typically, people end up on Dancing with the Stars on their watch. Like when they're, oh. well, it's the truth, it's the truth. Once, once like your career is kind of like, you know. For all their billions of followers. And likes ever, and comments. And like, so many of them want to get into broadcast television. Right? Something what, there. What, is, what is that about? You still want that validation. There's still an allure of being on television. Like you said, you could have a billion followers and a billion likes and comments. <laughs> and then the whole thing's going nuts. But if you landed a show on prime time, you'd be like, Yo, mama, I made it. There's the rub. You just said it. Mama, I made it. They have the validation of their peers, uh. but their uncle, their mother, their dad, when they bring a contract from a network home, then their family is like, Oh, I get what you do now. I understand what you do now. I'll be honest, though. We want the validation online as well. I host the number one entertainment show in Canada. Yes, you do. I still want more followers on Instagram, more followers on TikTok. I still want people to watch this show every week because the feed is amazing. So, you know, I, I, want, I want all of that, but I also oh. want a husband, too. If yeah. we're making wishes. The way you said that gave me uh, Jack A from 227. Oh my God. I want a husband. 227. Oh my God. We got to talk about the Try Guys drama. Ned Former has been kicked out of the group after he cheated on his wife with a co worker. Ned Former. He sounds like well, a cheater. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> he always positioned himself as a family man. His wife appeared in videos. They seemed very happy. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. It's like you fed this to all your fans and people are believing in this tale that you're telling them. And then you turn out to be not only cheating, but somebody that you work closely like with. In proximity. Like did this person yeah was probably on set when you were filming with your wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. How many Hollywood couples are now couples as a result of that coming on set from their relationship? And then we talk about it and we put it in our magazines. It's kind of confusing in that sense where like people are now being held accountable outside of the unit of their relationship. It's interesting to see that other people now have jurisdiction over that as well. Maybe this is a public service announcement. If you feel the cheat, <laughs> maybe just... Don't? Maybe just step out of the relationship first before stepping out. I remember Shaq's memoir, and he said something to the effect that he cheated on his then wife, Shawnee, countless times, mm -hmm. but he never once did it disrespectfully. And I thought, once you put your in somebody else's, it's disrespectful. If you put your fork in someone else's salad. <laughs> yeah, if you put your fork in somebody really... else's salad, I, I, it's disrespectful. First of all, everybody's getting caught. Before it, it was just Tristan Thompson, now was. everybody's getting caught. But I saw on Black Twitter that it is the come up year for the side piece. Exhibit A, Queen Consort Camilla. So well, she's, she's emboldened side pieces to come forward. And it's also really, really interesting to see. He got kicked out of a guy's group. <laughs> <laughs> what guy's group kicks a guy out for cheating? I mean, yes, but I mean, but then be, maybe that that's the kind of guy. That's the kind of guy weird. I want my future husband to hang out with, to have and by that as I a mean, squad. If any of my guys ever cheated, they would no longer be able to come over to the house. <laughs>